Welcome to the Dealer Scams. The hustlers have hired this luxury casino suite to set up a private blackjack game and demonstrate what could happen if Paul was a crooked dealer working on the casino floor. The aim of blackjack is to get your cards to total more than the dealer without exceeding 21. Alex only has nine, so he hits a card. Another three. That makes 12. 14. He hits again and now has 19. Not bad. Paul gets 26 and busts, so everyone gets paid. Alex is on a winning streak. Every card he's hit tonight has worked, which never happens. So let's see what the boys have been up to. There are many systems for beating the game of blackjack. Some work, some don't. But the surest way to beat the game is to cheat. So let's imagine that Alex was sitting right in front of me. So as I'm dealing the game, what I need to do is let him know what cards are coming. So as I deal cards to the other players hitting their hands, when I get to Alex, I'll say, do you want a card? When I do that, I lift up very slightly at the front of the deck. Now he can then see exactly what card he's gonna get. Now in this case, an ace which may help his hand, it may not, but he makes that decision based on what the next card is. Here's the move as it happens. It's so quick, nobody notices, except for the one person it's aimed at, Alex. There was once a thing called the bust-out dealer, and the bust-out dealer was a guy hired by casinos to beat the other players. So one of the most powerful moves that a bust-out dealer can use is called the second deal, and it works like this. Why don't, uh, why don't you make a bet? Big bet or small bet? Well, I want as cheating? much of your money as I can. Yeah, I'm going to be cheating. All right, a small bet. Okay, let's see how you did. Let's give you a couple of cards. You've got uh, an eight and a three. All right, so I'm going to peek secretly and I already know there's a 10 on top. Now a 10's the best card he can get because if he gets a 10, he makes 21. But remember, I'm trying to bust him out. So I've already peeked to see that jack on top. But instead of dealing him the jack, I deal him the second card down, which is a four, which is a terrible card. Now let me show you that one more time. I'm gonna place the four back into the second position. And this time I'm gonna leave the jack face up so you can see it. So when I peek the jack, I deal the four instead of the top card. Here it is in slow motion. In the blink of an eye, Paul slides out the second card and deals it to Alex. So a bust out dealer can cause a player a great deal of damage. These days, anybody using these moves would be using them to help other players in the game. Instead of dealing an ace to myself, I'll make sure my partner gets it instead. But this is why casinos spend a lot of money on security.